This is the CBS Evening News with Walter Cronkite. Good evening. The last of the Apollos, the spaceships which took men to the moon, has returned from her last voyage. With astronauts Tom Stafford, Deke Slayton, and Vance Brand aboard, the spacecraft splashed down in the Pacific after an historic Soviet-American meeting in space. Morton Dean reports. It wasn't just the Apollo spacecraft coming down, it was the curtain, the last Apollo mission. And it ended with the degree of precision that has marked most U.S. space performances. Right on time and just about right on target. Plopping into the Pacific, 320 miles west of Pearl Harbor, and within sight of the main recovery ship, the USS New Orleans. The spacecraft did tip upside down on impact. No major problem, and soon it was righted. Helicopters were overhead, swimmers dropped into the water almost as soon as the Apollo itself splashed in. Even when the seas are calm, as they were today, this for the astronauts is often the worst part of the round trip to space. All that bobbing around, it's a great spaceship, but a lousy boat, that's how one astronaut once described it. With its stabilizing balloons looking like giant ears, the Apollo looked something like a giant Mickey Mouse doll. From inside the capsule, word that the three astronauts were feeling okay, were glad to be back. Soon the carrier was alongside, lines attached to the capsule, and with the astronauts still in it, it was lifted onto the deck. Astronauts Stafford, Brand, and Slayton looking bright and chipper after nine days in space. They did wobble a bit. Takes time getting used to gravity after being in a cramped and weightless environment for so long a time. Greeting the astronauts by phone, President Ford. On behalf of your fellow Americans, about 214 million of them, congratulations and thanks for a very successful and extremely productive flight in space. We're delighted to have you back safely, and we're very, very proud of the great job that you did. Your safe return uh, marks the close of the Apollo program, and you and all of the rest who have been participants should be extremely proud of its success from the beginning to the present. No more ceremonies or splashdowns such as this for the foreseeable future. Next American in space won't go for at least another four years. And when that happens, it'll happen in a new type of spaceship, one that looks and lands something like a jet plane. Morton Dean, CBS News Space Headquarters, New York. Soyuz cosmonauts Alexei Leonov and Valery Kubasov came down three days ago, and today in Moscow they met with Western reporters, and Leonov said the joint flight was, in his words, as smooth as peeled eggs. <laughs> 